Chile's former Central Railroad Station, influenced by French architect Gustave Eiffel of Eiffel Tower fame, is not the usual venue for a classical musical concert. It's the dress rehearsal and everyone is nervous, especially members of the choir, who, like Ignacio Sepúlveda, have been practicing for six months. A friend told me that non-professional singers were being auditioned for a choir. At first I was terrified, but the choir director trains you and gives you confidence to sing even difficult pieces. He's part of a citizen's choir, who along with professional musicians and students are donating their time and talent for what will be a massive free concert before more than 5,000 people. It's the brainchild of orchestra director Alejandra Urrutia, who wants to bring classical music closer to all people, not just an elite. We want to bring uh, to, the, to the world, to the community, to, to our country, this message of, of brotherhood, uh, this message that we can all do wonderful things together in spite of our differences. You are hearing the Carmina Burana Cantata by Carl Orff. It's about life as a wheel of fortune, one that goes up or down without any warning. And that's a concept that's very opportune, particularly over the last three years. The next day, the cultural center is filled to the brim in downtown Santiago as the concert begins. This is the third Grand Concert for Brotherhood held in Chile. Meant as a symbol of unity in times of civil strife, war and pandemics. It's being broadcast around the world free of charge. Still, it's not the same as experiencing this live. Everyone who plays, they have feelings of uh, about what they're playing, and in, in when you're live in a, in a live concert, you can feel the, these emotions, and you can also feel the emotions of the people sitting next to you. When the concert ends, Urrutia invites the public to sing the first movement, classical music experience that the organizers hope to spread well beyond Chile's borders. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.